What's up guys, this is Chris Assassin. I'm here with part 4 of my Arkham Knight playthrough. The, today's episode is called Batman Killed Him. On the last episode, we you see Batman, Batman interrogating one of Scarecrow's henchmen, I guess. And he leads us to a penthouse. In the penthouse, we see Poison Ivy held captive. Batman saves her and escorts her to the GCPD lockup. And you speak to James Gordon about crimes going on in Gotham at the moment. And... Mr. Wayne, I hope the car is performing to your high expectations. Actually, Lucius, she's a little sluggish. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. Give me a few moments, and I'll bring the afterburner function online. Thanks, Lucius. It was good of you to stay behind. You want to thank me, Mr. Wayne? Just try not to hurl off the road. I should have some more upgrades ready soon. Oh, shit. Yo, this aftergrounds. Oh shit. Alright, so here we're saving a firefighter. Okay, that failed. Alright, let's take these guys out. Beat down! Oh! Environment takedown. Holy shit! Yeah, he's dead. That is why this is called Batman killed him. That nigga's dead. There's no way he's alive. And when the dawn comes, he, he like threw his whole face into the thing. Holy shit! Oh my god! Really, you? This ugly little fucker. Our truck was attacked. The riders dragged us out one by one. We were separated, taken away. Please, they're gonna kill us. He's already... I'll save your crew. What the fuck? Wait here. I'll get a GCPD officer to pick you up. Damn, I don't got time for you. Upgrade point. Okay, that went further than I expected. Mission select. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. Okay. I'm going to stop them, and I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Traveling with other Batmobile. I'm just gonna ignore that. I really love how they didn't change how you can move around, other than in the Batmobile. It's like really freaking easy. Boss. Alfred, I found the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Oh, this shit looks nice. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an Alfred. overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. I'm sorry, guys. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. What's that mean? I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. What is that? Like Alfred just nods sometimes and just agrees with him. Who the fuck understands the shit? Deep tissue scanner. I like how this shit is like fucking glowing. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis. A birth defect. Okay. For glowing shit, like set a wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia, first person in human history to swallow their ring. Boy, what the fuck is that shit?
There you go. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Alfred. Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's Basically. unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. I didn't hear any of that. I can't think of anybody who did this, you know. With this, they usually have the person, like, who did it in the TV show or comics with the same thing. But I don't even know. And I don't really understand how his marriage started collapsing. And he swallowed his ring, but... Whatever, I guess they're gonna do some riddle missions. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Peace.